You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go and play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. You and I, we're just like a couple of tots. Running round the meadow, picking up lots of forget-me-nots. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to... <laughs> and I remember your cooking. Your rhubarb pie, three feet long and one inch wide. <laughs> and you were colorblind. It was celery. <laughs> you never seemed to want my romancing. The only time you hold me is when we're everybody. I don't know why I love you like I do. I don't know why, but I do. You've seen quite a few guests come on here and do something they don't usually do on television. And tonight, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tap dance for you. Hey, mate, mate. Yeah? Can I do a dance? No, last time you did a dance, it rained for three days. <laughs> Anthony, could I have my tap shoes, please? <laughs> this is Anthony, my son. Hello, Anthony. How's your mother? She's fine. Fine. I must go home tonight. <laughs> now, Anthony, I'll be honest. I'm no Fred Astaire. See? When you get to 29... 29? <laughs> well, look, I I'm your son and I'm... Shh. <laughs> you know who may be listening. <laughs> yeah. Now, hang around and you might learn something. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. a real ham. <laughs> what do you think of my dancing, Ant? You reminded me very much of Nijinsky. Nijinsky was a very good dancer. I was talking about the racehorse. <laughs> you reminded me of Rudolph. Well, Rudolph Nureyev's a very good dancer. I was talking about the reindeer. <laughs> you think that'll catch on? <laughs> now, you may not know it, Anthony, but I'm a very good juggler. I know. I've seen you doing your income tax returns. <laughs> You know who may be watching. <laughs> Jeffrey, could I have my juggling apparatus, please? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? What? What do you think of my dancing? You know, you remind me very much of Kelly. Gene Kelly was a very good dancer. I was talking about Grace. Amazing. <laughs> Not the greatest gag in the world, but it's all they came up with. <laughs> Now, keep your eye on the juggler, boy. Here we go. Now, one, two. Now, you're looking at something that is very ununique. I tell you why, because I'm working in... 
<laughs> Entirely without the aid of a saint. Ladies and gentlemen, note that during this performance, my arms never leave my body. Cut it out. <laughs> First drop tonight. <laughs> Another joke like that and you'll be on the comedians. Oh, I love the comedians. I love the comedians too. Let's do them, shall right, we? Right, yeah. Here, now listen to this one. <laughs> it's two eggs, see? Two eggs boiling away in a saucepan of water, aren't I? One egg turns the other one, said, hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> the other one said, wait till you get out there, bash your head in. <laughs> yeah. I love the girls who do, I love the girls who don't. I hate the girl that says she will, and then she says she won't. <laughs> but the girl I like the most, and I think you say I'm right, is the girl who says she never does, but she looks as if, here, now look. <laughs> I'd like to start off tonight with a little poem. A young man from Galway Bay took a slow boat to China one day. He was tied to the tiller by a sex-starved gorilla, and China's a very long way. <laughs> there are none of the Carvies that I've met. There is none that I love like Kathleen. Oh, I met her one morning in Dublin, and to the optician she'd been. She was wearing her new horn rim glasses the first day that we went a wooing. I breathed on her new horn rim glasses, and she couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> There's a little Jewish fella walking through Golders Green. <laughs> and he walks up to a woman with two boys. He said, lovely boys, how old are they? She said, the doctor's four, the lawyer's seven. <laughs> A little boy of three sitting in the back of a Rolls Royce. I said, a lovely boy, can he walk? She said, he doesn't have to. <laughs> Listen. I, I, was, I was coming out of my local the other day, the Queen's Hotel, and somebody had painted my cub Bright pink. I was livid. I went back in the bar. I said, here, who's painting my car pink? And this big butch navvy, he said, he said, oh, I did. I painted it. I said, oh, first coat's dry. There was a young lady from Dickers. who went out with two city slickers. And just like you think, she had too much to drink and the rest of this verse has been cooked. <laughs> Oh, 